Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shaustool, and this is the 18th episode of the Modic Tutorials. In this episode we're going to be talking about the emissive material that goes onto blocks, such as the gyroscope, generator, and landing gear, that shows the state of the block, such as on, off, or whatever else the block supports. And I'm not going to cover the new emissive style yet that Phoenix 8E4 added, that allows you to have different types of emissive colors as well as supporting other things such as whether the block has oxygen or whatever. I'll try to figure out all the ins and outs of that and then I will try to do a video for you but I have not yet actually used it so when I get there we'll do a video. Alright so what we're gonna do is open up Blender I'm just going to show you a block that I've been working on to make it really easy and keep the video mostly short. So here you can see this green circle on this refinery block that I've been working on and that is what we're actually talking about in this episode. So on the materials tab if I go onto it and scroll down a little bit I have this emissive material that is spelled specifically capital E lowercase m i s s i v e now i believe that is case sensitive i might be wrong but i believe you can also add numbers or underscore and then numbers to the end of it and i think that might actually work or it will take it out of this if it's above i believe zero so if you want to make it so it actually changes colors between green red and black you want to make sure it's named emissive just to keep things easy. Alright, so a little bit further down you can see that I have three materials assigned to it. Emissive white, CM, NG, and add. And then scrolling down a little bit further you can see the viewport color is green so I can see it as green in here. This doesn't actually affect the color in game so you can color it however you want. Now the white emissive I suggest using so you get you get the proper color that you were shooting for for the base uh, emissive changing colors. If you were to put it as blue for the uh, emissive color and the block is off so it would be red in game normally. If the emissive is blue it might instead be magenta which you don't want because it might confuse people quite a lot. Now you can mess with it, you can make it darker by using like a gray color if you wanted to do that. Uh, you might be able to get away with uh, lowering the emissive uh, amount on the add texture. But for the most part I have everything just maxed out so it's fully white there's no metalness on the CM. The normal and gloss is very basic. The normal side is just that basic blue color. The gloss is black, so there's no glossiness. And then the additive is the red is full, the green is full, and then blue is nothing, so that is black as per normal. And then the transparency is also black, so it's non recolorable well non recolorable by you painting it alright so here we have the emissive and the textures assigned and everything looks to be good you just need to make sure that you UV map it I have the texture separated from all the others so I don't really have to worry about how it's UV mapped because it's not gonna have any issues of overlapping with other textures but if you do, just make sure you UV map it onto the emissive section of your texture. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open up the game now. And I'm just going to start a simple world and show you this block so you can see the emissiveness actually working. So I'm just going to load up a new world real quick. Custom. Go to empty. Wait for it to load. 
as it takes its dandy time. Come on, game. There we go. All right, so add this Geneticus one. Go to Advanced, Creative, Realistic. Disable spawns, cargo ships. And it needs to be offline, safe. And we'll just click OK. All right, so I'm going to place a platform. I'm going to add a generator to it so you can actually see it changing the colors. And then everything should be good. All right, so here we are. Plop the block down. And then find the refinery right there. And plop that down. And as you can see, it is a white emissive when it is off which is a little unfortunate. I think it's supposed to actually be black. Hmm. I guess it's just behaving a little weird. All right, so as you can see, in its on state, it is green, and that's how it should be. I'm gonna go ahead and add it over on the side so you can better see everything else. All right, so here we have the green emissive. If I Plop down this, should be able to access it. Go here and turn the block off. Oh, I turned the wrong one off. There we go, and it's red. So as you can see, it is fully red. It's not darker or any brighter or look any different. It's not glossy, so I can't see any shine coming off of it. So it's going to be just like the vanilla emissives, and that's all there really is to it. And if you have any further questions about specifically this, go ahead and leave a comment, and I will try to answer it. But it's pretty s simple and straightforward. It's a material named emissive with a white emissive material uh, texture for it. It can be a part of some big texture that has a whole bunch of details on it like you're supposed to be doing for texturing, but I'm not. But yeah, so, and that'll get you this. Now I'm going to do another video about this alpha mask because I was running into some really weird issues that was mostly boiled down to MIP maps. And I'll try to answer that as well in another video. But if you'd like to help me continue doing what it is I do, please be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon page through the link in the description below. All donations go towards me helping create more mods and videos, as well as help more people learn how to create their own mods. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.